So there's some, some people that are trying to live right. There are people that are living right. Wow. Yes. See, the difference is... You're the first person I heard the say dif- it like The that. difference is sin and sins. Sin and sins. Explain mm-hmm. that, preacher. Sins with an S. These are deeds. These are actions. These are things that can be performed. Okay. Okay. The word sin, singular, speaks about the sin nature that's in man. Okay. See? He came to redeem us from sin, not sins. (laughs) Okay. He came to redeem me from sin. Sin. But not sins. Not sins. <clears throat> I don't even understand it now. Because, because your flesh, see, your spirit is, when you come to Christ, your spirit is saved. Okay. Okay? Your spirit is regenerated, renewed, uh-huh. restored. Now, what's being saved, oh, I, I, I said that wrong. Uh, okay, let's, let's let me go on. What's being saved is your soul. Okay. Your soul has to go through a process of deliverance, salvation, mm-hmm. being being restored, understanding uh, understanding your walk with Christ, renewing your mind. You see, it, it's your mind, your will, and your emotions. This is part of your soul. Okay. These are this is the process that has to be uh, uh, regenerated on a daily basis. But now your flesh, your body. It'll never be saved. Okay. It'll never be saved. Sin, the sins are going to dwell in the pleasures of that body. Okay. You see? So I'll have to always deal with sins. Yes. But sin, God wipes away my desire for to sin. To want to see. I don't know if you're to be wiped away. Okay. But it's going through a process of uh-huh. being regenerated. Okay. Regenerated means. You see, uh, uh, to be renewed, restored. Okay. Replenish. Okay. Uh, um, 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 oh, how can I say this? Um, your, your, your soul. Your soul, once your spirit, once you, once you uh, uh, accept Christ and your spirit is regenerated, your soul now is in the process of being saved. Now, your spirit and your soul begin to work in cooperation with each other. Okay. <clears throat> you see? And as they work in cooperation with each other, you begin to obey the word of God more and more. Okay. Okay, and that's how sin is eliminated yes. from, from my life. Yes, that, that's how the sin nature is dealt with. Sin and nature is dealt with. Right. Okay. But now, the body, like I said, will probably never get saved. Okay. But, 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 but with, the, with the power and, 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 and the strength of the spirit and the soul, you could bring the body under subjection. Absolutely. Okay. And therefore, this is why I said, there are people that are living right. There are people living. Because not that they don't make mistakes. Right. Not that they don't slip. Not that they don't skin their knee. Mm -hmm. But they don't stay there. See, they don't remain there. Okay. They don't. It, it's not. It's not a lifestyle for them. Okay. They don't live in sin. They don't premeditate. Right. They don't premeditate, and they don't continue to dwell on and in that sin. Okay. Because their spirit and their soul helps them bring that. That, that act. Let not sin dwell in your mortal body. Right. Under conviction. See, yeah. and, then, and then you have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is governing all of this. Yes. And the Holy Spirit is like, is, is like the rider. It's like the rider that has hold of the reins. Okay. And, so, and, 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 when you, and when your flesh, your body, even your soul has an idea or a thought to do something, the Holy Ghost will pull the reins on you. Okay. See, Holy Ghost will pull the reins. Now it's up to you. 
Okay. To obey the pulling of that rain. <clears throat> or to say, I'm going to go bug wild. Okay. Praise God. So, Reverend, uh, man of God, what I heard, I heard a lot. But at the end, so I need the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, for more than singing in the choir. Oh, yes. Coming to church. Right? Yes. Being an usher. Yes. Being a preacher. Yeah, you don't need the Holy Ghost to do these things. I don't need the Holy Ghost for that. <laughs> That's what, at the That's end. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, because you start talking about sin. I'm not going to normally sin between 11 and 1 if I can help it. Mm -hmm. Right? You're right, right. <laughs> well, okay. if you can help it. <laughs> Yeah. And, 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 let's, and then let some honey come in with a sharp dress on. Well, well, <laughs> then you might. <laughs> <laughs> but we need, we need the Holy Ghost to make it to, to walk in, the, in this wicked world, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's to what navigate, I heard. To navigate. Mm -hmm. to, to, to live holy. To See, li we start out talking about holiness. That's right. To live we holy. need it to live holy. That's right. So holiness ain't just the church I go to and how they put on their badges uh, when they in their ceremonial right. state. Oh, this one is a Methodist, Baptist, Episcopalian, and this one is holiness, Pentecostals of the world and, you know, the United of this world. Yeah, it's not because the Church of God in Christ, all the ladies come in with, with, with all their white on, their white shoes, their okay. white like nurse's shoes, and their little white hats. Yeah. You remember how the Church of God in Christ Yeah, is. yeah, all you the, know, it's, all it's the not, dress. You know, that, that's not necessarily holiness. No, that's not holiness. You know? No. But they depict it as holiness. They depict that holiness. as holiness. But, you know, but, but what is their relationship with the Lord? How, how, is, how, okay. how, how is their relationship panning out in their life? I ain't scared to say it now. And it doesn't have anything to do with your denomination. Mm -hmm. Holiness is not a denomination. No. No denomination, prefix de denomination, prefix denoma, denomination this is a badge. Mm -hmm. Has anything to do with holiness. with holiness? You can. The Methodist was the first people to bring in speaking in tongues. It wasn't Pentecostals into the into the Americas. Mm -hmm. Yes, because they were the ones who prayed certain times a day, every day, all day. They had a method. They, they had a method <laughs> to the man. To the gladness, I was going to say madness, to the gladness. Yes. So, we want to call today holiness a denomination, uh, and it's not so. Now, what does that have to do with eschatology? I'll tell you what it has to do with it. Whomsoever will, let him yes. come. Whomsoever will, let him come. If we allow man's thinking of denomination to set this, that only the people that believe this denominational slice of the pie would be saved. Mm -hmm. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now, is the Bible not true? Yes, the Bible is true. But the Bible tells us that we must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. We must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. We must believe. Now, where denomination comes in, denomination starts, uh, starts, starts making it so that you can't come in unless you embrace our creed, mm -hmm. our dogma. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our way of thinking. Our way of thinking. Now, uh, I think when we get to heaven, we're going to find out that we excluded a lot of people because they didn't come on Sunday. Now, that ain't talking about the people that don't do this and don't do that. We exclude a lot of people because they didn't wear long dresses we're going to exclude a lot of people because 
They, did, they, they had too many tattoos because they wore pants, uh, because they had spiked hair, because they didn't look like us. Mm -hmm. uh, I, could, I could give you a whole list of things. Their skirts was too short. They wore halter tops. They're, they, you know, they were, they, they were, too, they were too, too much exposed here. They couldn't have been saved. There are places for dress codes. These all come with sanctification. Sanctification <coughs> and salvation. Salvation, as, as he was stating, <coughs> how the Spirit helps us to deal with sin. We're going to deal with sin every day of our life, but we have got to develop. The Holy Spirit comes to help us develop, have an attitude that I'm not going to dwell with sin. I'm going to die daily, as we talked right. earlier. Correct. I'm going to die every day. I'm going to die by inches. How do you eat an a elephant? You know, one bite, at a, one bite at a time. You can't swallow him. So I'm going to die <laughs> one, one inch at a time, one foot at a time. Uh, I'm going to die daily, Paul said. So every day that you die... And you, you, you clap, hallelujah, I'm dead. You look and find out, oh, my God, there's some more dying to do because somebody's going to prod you ah. and you're going to find, oh, I hurt. Yes. Oh, I'm mad. I'm angry. That means there's some more dying to do. But I'm going to die daily. But uh, Jesus, Jesus died now, I'm going to get in a, in a tough area here, but I don't want this to be taken, taken wrong. Because you, and, and I didn't, you know, this is amazing because I didn't, I'm not trying to set you up here. So don't, let's not get in deep water where the alligators are, okay? Because we didn't plan nothing. And I, I didn't bring you here to ambush you. Well, you may not set me up. The Holy Ghost sets me up. <clears throat> okay. Well, I didn't bring you here to ambush you. So this just came to <laughs> yeah. my heart. I didn't even intend to go here. But this is a real show. Um, but God died for everybody on, on planet Earth. And this just dropped into my spirit. He died for Christians and non-Christians. Mm -hmm. Now, he won't non-Christians... <laughs> see, see, I knew, cause you know, you you at one time you don't have to go there, but you worked with somebody one time who made a big change. Whether you want you you know you don't have to even have to deal with that, but he died for non Christians. Now he died he died from Hindus, he died for Arabs. Well, can I say something right there? You can stop me. He he didn't die for Christians. Well, thank you. I knew you were gonna correct me. <laughs> He didn't die for Christians. Thank you. That's where I made my mistake. He died for people. Talk to him. Talk to him. He died for people. He said he so loved the world that he gave. He didn't say he so loved Christians. Come on. That's where I made my mistake. Oh, he, he, he so loved the church of God in Christ. That, that's he it. so loved the uh, church of God that's or, or the Methodist or, or, or the apostolic. That's it. You see, he so loved the world. See? See? I that told he gave. you. That's where we're making my, our See, mistake. And, 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 and another thing thought just come to my mind. Uh, oh, man, what's that scripture? Uh, uh, the earth is the Lord. And the fullness, the fullness thereof. But also the scripture says, I'm, I'm going to combine these two together, that Satan is the God of this world. But see, well, what we have to understand is, is keeping it in content. See, when it says the earth, the earth is the Lord's. He created it. There, there, there's not another one. He created that. But the world, Satan is the prince of this world. See, the word world is not the earth. <laughs> right. World is cosmopolitan, mm -hmm. which means a system. See, he's the God of this system. Mm -hmm. He's the prince of this system mm -hmm. that is at work in the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, the, the world and the earth are two different things mm -hmm. when you keep them in contents. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use them synonymously, mm -hmm. but they're different. And so, and so when it says, God so loved the world, you see, now, is he talking about, is he talking about 
the, the, the system that Christ, I mean the system that Satan developed? I don't think so. Because mm -hmm. he, he's, he's not pleased with that system. Because that system says, uh, uh, succeed by all means necessary. Dog eat dog. Do, 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 do what you got to do to get ahead. It's Babylonian. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And so, and so what, what I believe, um, uh, that he so, loved the, he, he so loved the people that's in that system. He so loved the people that's in that world, that's in that thing, <clears throat> that he gave because he didn't want them to remain that way. He devised, he devised, a, um, um, he devised a plan from the foundation of the world to redeem them out of that world. Praise God. Now that's beautiful. We're not in that system. We're not in that system. Thank you, we're Lord. We're in the system, but we're, we should not be of the system. Amen. So, you know, I, I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm, I'm sorry that I <laughs> No, 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 be sorry. You're so far from that. Uh -uh, no, you're not. We're right but, there. But there's a scripture that says, and it used to puzzle me, that the children of darkness are wiser than the children of light. Mm -hmm. Man, that scripture used to puzzle me so much. Mm -hmm. I did not understand it. And then God showed me another scripture of who's the guy that went up in the tree? Z Zach Zacharias. Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, the little short guy. Yeah. Zacchaeus went up in the tree because he knew Jesus was coming mm -hmm. and he wanted to see him. With all the crowd being the little guy, mm -hmm. he couldn't see him. So he got up in the tree, in a sycamore tree. Mm -hmm. See? And, uh, uh, what, 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 what the Holy Ghost showed me is that by him, see, now Zacchaeus was a, was a what? He was a tax collector. Mm -hmm. But not just a tax collector. He says he was a chief tax collector. His daddy was probably a tax collector. His granddaddy, was, he, he come from a long line of tax collectors. Mm -hmm. He was a chief, the collect, tax collectors reported to him. Mm -hmm. He was a chief tax collector. And so, and so, by him going ahead of Christ, going up in that tree, that tree represented his status mm -hmm. in the community. Mm -hmm. He looked down on everybody else. Yeah. And when Jesus got to that tree, he looked up and called his name. Mm -hmm. Zacchaeus, come down. I'm going to have dinner with you tonight. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible doesn't tell us what they discussed or what they talked about. But the evidence is sure. Because Zacchaeus came out and he started giving stuff away. Yes, he did. He started giving back to people that he didn't stole from, <laughs> that he didn't took from. He sure see, did. So, 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 so what happened? So the way I see it, the way the Holy Ghost showed me is that Jesus taught him about a system that worked better than his system. <laughs> 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 and that's give and not hoard. <laughs> see, to give. And that's what he came out and done. So you see, so, so you know, we, we, we live in this system, but, but, but we don't prosper from this system. And, so, and so, so to go back to that verse, the children of darkness are wiser than the children of light. Because, see, the children of darkness, they use the system that Satan has developed. The doggy dog to get ahead. Survival of the fittest. You see? Stepping over people to get to the top. But how many can you step over without stepping on some? You see? And so, and so therefore, they live by that system. But here we are, Holy Ghost filled, tongue talking, calling ourselves Christians, Christ like, followers of Christ. We espouse to the system and expect a heavenly blessing. We buy into the system. But we expect God to bless it. So see, we're not using the system God gave us. God gave us a system. But we're using the world system and expecting God to bless us. God, God, there's a system in the kingdom. The system that Satan set up in the world, in the cosmopolitan, he based it oh, off man, of that one in the Stop. kingdom. Stop. Stop. So that's what makes them wiser. Man. Because they use their system. We don't use our system. 
<laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'll pour water on you. <laughs> Man, yeah. the, 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 this kingdom stuff is phenomenal. Yeah. You know, the kingdom, the kingdom teachings and understanding is phenomenal. You wouldn't put another dime in the world system if you had the revelation that you were talking to, talking about right there. You just wouldn't do it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have a problem sowing. Mm -hmm. Right. Isaac sowed in a time of famine, and it came back to him in the same year a hundredfold. Yes. You wouldn't have a problem. You wouldn't take the attitude that all the church want is your money. Right. See, that's the world thinking mm -hmm. towards God's system. Yeah. You, wouldn't, you would never come out your mouth, all the preacher want is my money. You would never do that. That's the world judging God's system. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good, bro. We I just had all those things that be not as though they were. Yeah, well, that's a system. That's kingdom. That's part system. of the system. Uh, I mean, he just smothered that with 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 ice and and all that. Seek ye first good. the kingdom of God. Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines, pests, earthquakes in diverse places. All that's the world's system. All that's the world's system. Population explosion. But there needs to be a population explosion in the kingdom of God. We want to give you an opportunity mm. to be a part of the kingdom of God. Amen. We want to give you an opportunity to get into the kingdom of God. And as, as we said, and, and brother, he brought the clarity to it. We've been <laughs> saying Jesus died for Christians. And he wants, uh, he came to save the Christians and he wanted, but that, that's not right. He died for the world. And see, that's where we Christians, where we've got it messed up, that he only loved Christians. But he loves the whole world. He loves Hindus. He loves those in China. You know, there's a great revival in China right mm. now. Man. All you got to do is thank God for U.S. news. But if you will watch the right kind of news, there's other news channels. And I'm a believer in it. I like, I like world news. I want to hear what's going on in other places. I'm a global citizen. You are too. Look at the tags on your clothes. So don't say you ain't a global citizen. You wearing shoes made in China. You wearing sweat gear that's made in Indonesia. Your pillowcases is made in Bangladesh. You, you Very little you got is made in America. Right, right. So your glasses and stuff. The frames, everything, you are a global citizen. The, the computer you got, it, it's not made in the USA, mm -hmm. everything. But when it comes down news, we want local news, and we want to hear live from New York. With us. Right yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, you're a global citizen, whether you want to be or not. But uh, I said that to say that uh, he died for those in China. There's a great revival in China, and it's underground. They don't meet between 11 and 1. They meet at 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And you can't get them all into one room. There's a great revival in Iran of uh, the Iranians. You know, we hear about the negative part of Iran. They want a nuclear bomb so they can kill the great Satan and then little Satan. But there is a move of God. Yes. God loved them. And, you know, in our American psychology, it's hard to think. How can God love them? Over there, they don't even have crosses on the building. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He don't just love America and Israel. He loved people in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. 250,000 people about 10 years ago now died. And we say, you see, because they didn't love Jesus, God loved every, every last one of them before they died. And yes, calamity came and uh, they passed away. Jesus met one time, uh, or talked one time with his disciples, and he said, at that time, the greatest catastrophe that I guess had happened was 16 people was killed because a tower fell on them over in Siloam. And I guess that was the great news. You know, a tower fell on 16 people in Siloam. 
And Jesus said, you think that those 16 people that got killed by that tower in Siloam, you think they were sinners above all sinners? He says, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Mm -hmm. So just because bad things are happening to people, it doesn't mean that they're any worse than the people who are so-called Christians, saved, tongue-talking, go to church, play tambourines, sing, they go to, you know. He died. He so loved the world. Yes. He loved your people uncle world. in prison. He loved people that are in prison, incarcerated, three-time offenders. He loved, he loved child molesters. I know we think, to y'all, they ought to be taken out and killed. But God loved love them. I mean, you may not like me for saying this. He loved pedophiles. He loved murderers. He loved alcoholics. Everybody's an alcoholic, ain't an alcoholic, because they, like, they started liking alcohol. They had an issue to push him that way. He loved drug, drug addicts. He loved murderers. But he loved cultures of people. And the church is here. We're here not to judge, but to pray. And that's, that's our mission. When we get to heaven, he's not going to ask me, uh, did you just make sure you stayed within the four walls of your church and you just... He's going to ask, he's going to say, you know, I put in you, I put in you Christ, the hope of glory. I put in you a seed that if you had watered it, you could have prayed for the nations. So we're going to pray for you today, and we're going to believe for you today, no matter who you are and where you are. Your, your, your uh, culture may be different from mine, but there's only one God, and his name is Jesus. And that's the God.